So here's a quick demo of this virtual simulation engineer tool that I've built. It took me about half an hour to build this in Gemini. Uh, it's quite interesting because you can use the Gemini API for free um, in any applications that you uh, basically vibe code with it and you uh, link via the um, Gemini canvas. So essentially this is what it looks like and you can go through a few steps. You go through a conceptual model design step and then you generate some Python code and then you can run your simulation. So let me show you how it works. I've got a little prompt that I've created already. So we want to make a simulation of 10 mine trucks hauling material from one loader to one crusher and I'm interested in the throughput. So pretty vague, pretty ambiguous. Let's see what happens. So you click on design model and that sends uh, this prompt to the uh, Gemini LLM. So it's now thinking about that and it's generating a conceptual model which is going to appear down here. It also creates a JSON version of this and from both of those it then creates uh, the SymPy code which we're gonna see in a second. So it's still thinking away um, there we go, we've got our conceptual model here, so uh, yeah, the simulation model represents a simplified mining operation, talks about the resources, great, it's identified the loader and the crusher, our resources, uh, it's got this basic process flow of the trucks arriving, loading, yep, traveling, crushing, and then back to the loader, great. So it's going to gather throughput data, loader and crusher utilization, that's pretty cool, so yeah, I would have been interested in that. Um, so let's generate the Python code now. So our little virtual engineer is doing that um, and that's going to appear on the right hand side here. Um, I've got SymPy um, at the back end. This is all hi like hosted within the single browser window so PyoDide is used to run Python uh, in the front end here so there's no back end stuff going on. Um, I've asked it to use uh, SymPy um, uh, by default. Um, so we're going to see that uh, simulation appear here and then hopefully it's all going to work. So yeah this is our SymPy simulation. So nice and simple single script. Okay it's gone with uh, just using basic process functions rather than classes. That should be all fine. Got some printed statistics there and a bit of visualization as well. So let's run this code and then we execute down in this box down here so there we go all right we haven't actually run our simulation for that long maybe we can tweak this so if i actually now go in here and i just put the simulation duration as like yeah look it's actually identified a simulation duration of eight time units very short it means that we probably will have few events so yeah why don't we just crank this up to like let's do like an hour Okay, assuming that's seconds. Okay, let's run the simulation again. There we go. So, truckloads, 354 truckloads, 99% utilization of our loader, 78% utilization of our crusher. So we've got a little bottleneck identified there. So yeah, that's uh, that's the, the tool in a nutshell. Um, give me some feedback. If you have any, uh, feel free to play around with it. There's no cost to me, it's all using uh, Google's um, Gemini API. So yeah, I, d I do think that this is sort of a, a hint to what the future um, workflow is going to look like for a simulation engineer. I think we're going to move more into being uh, kind of reviewers and, and sort of trustees of the conceptual model and the code and, and the output rather than uh, necessarily the plumbers. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. All right, cheers.